Sunday, Barangay uh, Palakasan. Uh, welcome to this uh, rich edition of uh, School Forum dito po sa Manila Times Studio. Uh, kaya lang dati, at ating uh, pag-uusapan ngayon ay ang darating na sa Office of Ocean Games, which the country will be hosting on November to December. And uh, our guests today are uh, the teams from uh, softball, child softball and uh, baseball na uh, mayroong uh, very rich uh, history <laughs> sa sexy games, no? sa Asian games. Uh, ang softball po natin, ang movers ay wala pang talo. And uh, ang men's baseball also dominating uh, their sports. At uh, ating guests today is led by uh, my left, uh, Sir Pepe Munoz, uh, Secretary General of the Philippine Amateur Baseball Association. Uh, coach uh, Andy Dizer, Head Coach of uh, the Blue Girls, and he's uh, one of his assistants, uh, Randy Tomaruagan, who incidentally is uh, the only Filipino to have, uh, to have uh, pitch a perfect game in the World Summer Championship. Ang mga player po naman natin ngayon na uh, bisita ay mga nagagandahan na uh, nila. You understand that? Of uh, course, uh, the team captain, Jessica Almonte of uh, Ateneo. Alam niya, ha? <laughs> And uh, Sky, she's not that tall. Sky sa Eliasar. And uh, Rin Yang from uh, Phoenix and from Maryland, respectively. Okay, so uh, to stop the ball rolling, ay alawin uh, natin si Coach Randy kung nga ba, kumusta ba ang ating preparasyon for the coming sea games? Ay tayo ba ay magpo-continue to dominate the game? Or? Actually, the team is, uh, we're confident that we're going to retain it. Uh, for the SEA Games. Okay. Ang pinakamalalim namin in preparation ngayon is that uh, we're leaving on the 20th of September this mm -hmm. month. Uh, we are preparing for the last uh, stage of uh, Olympic qualifying for mm -hmm. 2020 in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. uh, papunta kami ng uh, China. Well, in China. Uh, uh, Shanghai, China. So, <coughs> this is it. Ito ang, as far as our big boss, John Henry Rivera of uh, Cebuana, this is our main goal. Uh, yep, to qualify for the 2020 Olympics. Ibig sabihin, hindi tayo matatali sa SEA Games? Me, I'm confident. I'm confident that we will retain it. And with, the line, with our lineup right, uh, and the preparations that we are doing now, Uh, it's 100%. We'll get it. What mm -hmm. about uh, the Olympics? Uh, the chances are there. Um, we have to understand that talagang malalakas ang kalaban. Pero if we're going to base it on, on previous uh, games namin, no? uh, all the teams that are participating in the last qualifying, Lahat yun from China, Chinese Taipei, New Zealand, uh, Australia. Australia, Korea, we have beaten them. Mm -hmm. Tinalo na rin namin sila. So by, by doing that, I think the, the biggest ano lang ngayon is that we have to beat them in one tournament. All of them. Mm -hmm. Which is a big task. Pero the way, uh, ano pala mindset ng girls natin, they're there. I think we have a chance. So, okay, I don't know what I'm going to say about it. You have a pitching coach, eh? Oh. Ano, pitching na lang. Kasi siyempre, ang softball baseball kasi nag-uug siya sa pitcher, eh? Sorry, pitchers. So, as of now, we have five solid pitchers yung line-up natin for disqualifying for the Olympics. So, I'm confident na lahat sila ay, kung i-rate ko sa among top pitchers in the world, maybe probably they are there na isamok sila doon sa mga the best pitchers in the world. Ten. Kahit. Uh, so, so no, maraming pitchers. Right. <laughs> Siguro. <laughs> sa dami. 
Pero yung performance nila, yung skills nila nandoon. So yun lang height ta kasi lagi tayong kulang sa height. So yung speed nagkukulang pero by doing of location and variation of pitching. So may sasabi ko na isa sila sa the best pitchers in the world. Indonesia that we was had, the last time. Uh, we had yeah, the hosts were I think Laos, uh, Singapore, and Malaysia, and, and none of those countries uh, uh, put baseball in the program. So, thrice none. So it's been held three times. Thrice this will be the fourth. Right? This will be the fourth occasion where we will have baseball. Uh, I remember because I thought 1977 baseball was played. Uh, Mention base, of those in the world. It's men's softball. Yeah, men's softball. Because I was there. Okay. So, what's our time to talk? We're the host. Well, we're the host. I mean, uh, we're still, in terms of ranking, we're, 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 we're better, you know, we're better than Indonesia in, in Thailand. We're stronger. So, we're, we are targeting the gold medal. Mm -hmm. um, I think I think uh, both Indonesia and Thailand will do their best. They'll try. They'll try yeah. to take the gold medal away. But um, yes. they, uh, what what we have the advantage the Philippines has is depth of the team. Mm -hmm. um, and, and by the way, we also have a very young team. More than half the team is recent graduates or actual UAAP, continuing to be UAAP players. So, so we have a very young team and, and we're hoping that that will give us a strong push in the future. UAAP is not going to be able to No, there is UAAP, there is SCUA, 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 SCUA,
So, so there's three major competitions, but the UAP is the strongest prosecution today. Okay, so having heard that, uh, let's go to mga players naman. Uh, Jessica here is said to be the team captain. Yes, sir. Ikaw lang ang mas galing sa Ateneo. Yes, sir. Tapos team captain ka pa. Yes, sir. Para maging team captain. Bisa tolong, bisa tolong player. My usapan dengan mana between players and coaches, so they made the decision. Oh, bagai, dia nak dia sebagai dah. I think it's, I think, I think it's the brain. Tengok, nama tak gaya kita. That before we have previous captain pun kami tak gaya. Tak gaya. Yes, lah, dia tak gaya. No, FEU. <laughs> no, we're trying to push that FEU so, will be back. What do you think? I mean, uh, can uh, we again uh, win the championship? Yes. Um, so, sabi din ni Coach Andy, confident siya. So, player side naman, confident din kami na makakagold ulit sa CDMs. Okay. Nakikita niyo ba ng laro yung mga kalaban natin? Nakikita na po. Um, nung past, we played them consistently naman over the years. Um, we played Indonesia in the last Asia Cup, and we've been beating them still over the years. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we know our competition. Uh, Sky is uh, in your third year as a member of the Philippines? Yes. What can you say? About teams, about, uh, about team. Team. Uh, about over about the years team. we've really grown from my first year to now. Uh, the way we play the game is very different. I feel like our level has uh, grown to much higher and we compete with some of the highest ranked teams in the world. Uh, so that's just fun to see the growth that has happened mm -hmm. in this team since I've been here. Uh, you mean uh, it has grown because of uh, you? <laughs> uh, no, no, not necessarily because of me. Um, the Flams that came in, um, even that were here before us, I think set a really good uh, foundation for us to come in and learn from one another. Um, softball here in Asia and then softball in the States is different, but we've learned so much from them and I feel like they've learned a lot from us too, so it's just been a good learning uh, part for us. I've been trying to play for a while now, but with some complications with my Filipino passport, obtaining it kept me from playing. Yeah, I finally got it. Yes, I finally got my Filipino passport. Um, but I should. Yes. Yes. Well. <laughs> Yeah, playing with um, some of the girls, they've been teaching me, like, good morning, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, many Filipinos believe that uh, the Blue Bears doesn't need, uh, you know, uh, reinforcement from uh, Philippe. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that's, that's the feeling of the Filipinos. But uh, one of the best in Asia, uh, uh, unfortunately, Chinese Taipei, Japan, and China are uh, better. So, um, that you have to live with. Mm. Actually, it's like this. Uh, for the tourism <coughs> program that was, was initiated by John, uh, trying to look at it, uh, we, the locals, are, or, or mga players natin here, are good. If you're going to compare them to the films, they're both the same. The only thing there is that our films, because they have more games in the states, they have more, they have the facility, so that is their advantage to us. With the experience of playing uh, so many teams in one year, while us, we only play the UAAP. Giving us the UAAP, ano lang nila, it's not enough. So, kaya pagdating ng film, if you're really going to look at it, when they play, masyadong mataas yung level ng film natin because of the exposure that they get. But given the same exposure, yun ang ano rin ni Jan, given the same exposure ang ano natin for the film, yung films natin and the locals, we will be at the same strength as them. The only thing there is that we don't have it here. 
and John can only do so much for the softball natin sa ano. And the only way it can be done is that by the government put, putting up fields, putting up the facilities, and I think PSC is trying to do it now. It's now that they are helping us with all the things that we need. I think mag someday it will come na we're in its ano na, lalo tayong lalakas because of the combination of both. Uh, as a PSC, that the only way we can attract people going to the venue, which is the villages, is that by PSC and the LGUs inviting or bringing schools, especially uh, the provinces near, mm -hmm. now wherein they have baseball softball program, bring buses there so that you can bring all the kids in para they can watch. Because if, if, if not, Number one, transportation-wise, it's hard to go inside Clark, especially now Sea Games, the security is tight. So tendency, we have to bring in a lot. And, and, and that is, yun ang pinaproject nila dyan ngayon, how are we going to bring some? I told that to several Facebook people, why, why, why? Why, why Clark? Why, 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 why not in Manila? I mean, you know. In 2005, uh, the first time that I saw the Rizal Memorial Stadium filled 20,000 people. First time uh, since uh, the Kandubang Maralto uh, uh, rivalry. Uh, uh, first, first, first year of the sports writer. For the first time in uh, 2005, I see Gloria, the president there was Gloria. He was watching Wushu. And then he heard, What's that? Ah, it's a I may say it's a baseball country. Yes, Bulacan is there. Tarlac, there's a, there's a lot actually. The only thing there is that give them the means to go to the field and watch the games. And and I think that is what uh, I push now in some of the meetings for them to bring in the people, bring in the the, the spectators. I I that that thing I don't know, but I think. They will cover it yet. Because when they see it in the studio, they will go to the diary, they will read it, they will go to the people. They will go to the national pride. And especially for the sport that we know that we can dominate. The new era of Philippine TV has arrived. And we are here to lead the way. Here to deliver unbiased news. Here to spark fearless conversations. Here to redefine intelligence. Here to spread hope. Here to get your adrenaline pumping. Here to give you an inside look. Here to pay tribute to legends. And here to let your genius shine. At the end of the day, we're not just here to inform. Not just here to entertain. We're here to uplift the Filipino spirit. The Manila Times TV. Aspirational. Inspirational. Sa, yeah, study mo na. What are you taking? 
Tagana pala na graduate. Tagana pala na graduate. Tagana pala na Communications Technology Management. Uh, computer. Uh, Telecom Management. Ed is with the no. Ed. Sorry. Yes, what? Working. Saan? Um, I work for Maguire Group. They're a retail company. He's with Nike. She's with Nike. Yes, what? Ah. Gusto mo nang bago si Chesco na kausapin. Ito. Ang dalas pa sa LA. Okay, si Sky. Why Sky? You're the doctor naman siya. My mom and dad thought I was gonna be tall. Skyline pa, di ba? Yung full name is Skyline. 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 Where you want it? Where you want it? <laughs> I don't know. My mom then just like that name, and we're all the uh, girls side of my family. We're all Lins. So your my fat, your mom and dad are about Filipinas. Yes, my mom and dad. I'm actually from Hawaii, so my dad is Ilocano, and so Hawaii. is my mom. They're both Ilocano. Uh, where in Hawaii? Uh, Maui. Been mm. there. Top uh, baseball. Yeah? No, go ahead. You're a champion's dad. Every year. Every year. Hilo? Hilo? Yeah, that's where I live now. But I grew up, yes, I grew up in Maui, but I live in Hilo now. I don't know. I don't know. Trying to give me trouble on TV. Sa Hawaii, Hawaii. They don't know Philippines. They don't know Filipinos. They only know Ilocanos. Yes. Everyone in Hawaii is Ilocano. And the first team, the first ever team that played in Hawaii is Philippine Philippine team, national team in Honolulu. I was a girl yet. That was 1930s. Okay, so what's your name, Lauren? Where are you from? I'm from Los Angeles, California. Ah, LA. How old are you now? I'm 25. And your school is? I went to University of Arizona. Yes. Tucson? Yes. Boyfriend already? No, not <laughs> no, not yet, not yet. Um, I had one previously, um, but currently taking applications now. So, <laughs> yeah. Why? Uh, excuse me. No good. He, yeah, he was not good. Yeah. Yes. No, no Filipino. Ah, just a Filipino. Okay. <laughs> okay, the next one will be. How long have you been here? How long have I been here? Um, about two days now. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, she's <laughs> just <laughs> yes. For only two days? Oh, yes, yes. Full, full one and a half, about one and a half. Yes, graduated in 2016. Finance. Finance. Mm-hmm. Money. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... Hello. Okay, so... Okay, break. Okay, The new era of Philippine TV has arrived. And we are here to lead the way. Here to deliver unbiased news. Here to spark fearless conversations. Here to redefine intelligence. Here to spread hope. Here to get your adrenaline pumping. Here to give you an inside look. Here to pay tribute to legends. And here to let your genius shine. At the end of the day, we're not just here to inform. Not just here to entertain. We're here to uplift the Filipino spirit. The Manila Times TV. Aspirational. Inspirational. Okay, uh, 
Coach Andy, uh, what's this I heard that uh, DC Games will be facing an all Filipino lineup? Uh, that is what our. Um, that's the plan. Uh, that, that's the plan. Why? Uh, that, <laughs> that's how confident I am that we can do it. Putting, putting it, I, as far as I'm concerned now, sa tingin ng coaching staff, me and our coaching staff, if we're going to bring in our pinams, and tendency is that overkill na yun. Yes, it's an overkill for, for us bringing them for the SEA Games because I, do, I, I, I think with all our locals, we'll dominate the tournament pa rin. Kasi host tayo dito, dapat natin, yeah, I'm confident about our, uh, the way our girls are playing now. Uh, Anna, me, Ron, and Anto. With the way, with the preparations, the games that we are giving them against the men's team, uh, I think we're there. Uh, we have, uh, for the last two weeks, we have played, for the last two weeks, we have played 17 games. Yeah, that's 14 days, 17 games against men's team, uh, which is the, it's the Philippine Army, Philippine Navy, Philippine Air Force, the Batangas All-Stars. Uh, we played the Blue Boys, we played the Under-17, we played our men's team also, and hopefully by next week, you know, most of our films arrived only about two or three days ago. We have now, what we want to do is that for us to be able to uh, blend in again for the position, the position, the batting order, the only way we can do that is by us again playing against the men's team. So we will be playing against the Air Force, our Blue Boys, we will be playing against them also, so the namin makikita. And the way, the way they are they are adjusting against the men's uh, pitchers, I think we have a chance. Yeah. It's just like what they did was no naglaro kami yung last weekend. May in kasi nga because there's too many too many men's games na tayo ang ginawa namin nung last Saturday and Sunday. We played men's team in the morning. Then, when the things happen, we played against our under-17 who's doing their under-17 women's team under Naginaginahandle Rivera right now. So they're putting up a selection right now for the Asia Championship this coming November. So we played them. I asked my girls to play them. Para at least they have that feeling of playing. No, it's the Asia Asia Championship for under 17. No, no, this is not the league. This is the WBSC. This is the qualifying for the World Championship next year. So the tendency is that them playing against the women's team. Dun namin na dun nila nakita na after playing with. Almost every day against the men, men's team. That's like the Luka against the Babae Cup. One of the Babae. They dominated. They dominated, especially hitting. Masyadong kala ko, ano eh, parabang puro home run yung palo ng mga girls natin eh. Kasi biglang iba yung pinaluan nila eh. Naging babae. Alay rin? Hindi naman, hindi naman. Eh, eh siyempre, yung, yung under 17 na yun. They were all so excited to play because they're playing against the Blue Girls, diba? And like what I told them, they are the future Blue Girls. So, ibig sabihin, eh, itong team na binigilaan ito si Captain, mm -hmm. hindi itong team na si Gabe's. Mm -hmm. That's for the tournament that's coming up. Uh, what? Ano, something? The Olympic qualifier. That's the Olympic qualifier. Olympic qualifier. Olympic qualifier. Olympic qualifier. Olympic qualifier. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. 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 Okay.
like like our yesterday we we watched our game against New Zealand. We're in. Uh, we lost two zero. Uh, yung hit kasi hindi nagsabay sabay so tapos even looking at the pictures kung saan kami pinapatay ng mga pictures so tendency for each and every player to really look at kung anong pa-adjustment na gagawin nila when we play them we're trying to review tapes of previous games China, Chinese Taipei na I think will help us Trivia Spain of New Zealand ジェネレーションで。ジェネレーションで。ジェネレーションで。ジェネレーションで。ジェネレーションで。ジェネレーションで。ジェネレーションで。ジェネレーションで。ジェネレーションで。ジェネレーションで。ジェネレーションで。
if we can right now, because we know we play, we play very well. Uh, another event we're looking forward to is in November. We have, for the first time, the Philippines will be fielding a team in the Asian Women's Baseball Championship. Mm -hmm. This is the second. This is the second Asian Women's uh, Championship. So we will be fielding a team there. So we're quite excited because we want to see. First time. Yeah, first time. Uh, we want to see uh, what we can accomplish. Right? Of course, all of our players are former softball players, or, or current softball players, or current softball players, players. Some former of them, blue girls some of players. Them blue girls also. Mm -hmm. So we're quite excited. Uh, but there's a big adjustment because. We don't have any women baseball pitcher. Uh, Jess Casana. So we have to work on that. Uh, and, and, uh, no, Jessica used to play up to Anoy, up to when he, she was in the uh, seniors division. She used to pitch. She plays baseball only. She started playing softball in the big league now with Anna. That's the first time. Yes. Uh, with Anna's team. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes, you were there. Kasama ka namin. Eddie, uh, you I have to tell you, you know, Jessica has a long, long history. Oh, please. The first time I saw her was when she was eight years old. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was coaching the team. Jessica was one of the members of the team. Um, and, um, she's she's good. So she's been playing for a long time. She's, she's good. <laughs> No poor baseball din natin kasi ako, like, like with, with, with yung sa history natin for baseball, this is parang kung titignan mo kasi for the development of baseball, this is new management sila. Remember, ngayon pala nagkaroon ng bagong official ang Pava. Remember the pub, yeah, 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 with, with Chito there, yeah, with Chito there now, with uh, Pepe as the, I know, with Boy King, so on. it's a new, new management, so on tendency, but the last time they won the SEA Games is that um, players, you know, there are some players that are there now, dito sa lineup na to, tas di nagdaga ng bago, me, I personally, because most of them played at the Huacan Kuren when they were playing, so on tendency is that sa tingin ko uh, mas malakas itong team natin na to for the SEA Games because it's a young team kasi with na may main core sila na veterans. Mm -hmm. So then uh, no, it's very, it, the coaches will have a hard time making the lineup. Actually, yeah, yun yun ang problema ng coaches. Because the, the team is so balanced. Yes, mahirap panuhin ko sino yung magiging main main team mo. Yun, which is for me, pinakamagandang problema ng coach yun, di ba? Pagka ang problema mo is who will you para mag maging magandang kombinasyon. Head coach. Head coach is Lando. Lando, Lando Binara. Lando Binara. Oh, Adam, sir. It's yeah. been a long time uh, baseball and so yes. player. Uh, you know, long career as a blue boy. Blue boys. Philippine baseball team. So. No, he played, he played both. Eh. Blue boys at saka men's baseball. Yeah. 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 Trivia again, uh, those, for those who I mean, uninitiated, uh, and Philippines was the first Asian champion in baseball in 1954. But no, no. <laughs> 1954, at the time of Chinese and, uh, and, uh, Birai, Onsinian, Rudy, Pagsisihan, Pagsisihan, and uh, Briones, Johnny Briones. Those are and the golden years. So, yung, during the first uh, world amateur baseball, which uh, recently Cuba and the Dominican, you were third in 1966 in Hawaii. Honolulu, that kami doon. I was only a red writing. Wow. Okay, I'm Hawaii. Okay, on that note, uh, I'm a papa, I'm a papa, I'm a papa, say goodbye, and I'm a sakit man. But, uh, bye bye, I'm a papa, 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 I'm
and yeah. probably before the Asian Games starts, we can bring natin the men's and women's of the team na, and then match the team. Of course, we have to talk about the same thing. Kita ni na, kita ada dengan apa pun lah tu. Film na, kita ada lor. Siguro, may impress tak kau na? Kaya ni lah. Saya impress lah. Kaya ni lagi pasok ang Filipino. Papa pasok tu lah. Kita mesti ada capture. Kita kah, kita pada ada kah ya. So there, kita dah minta file. So next week. The new era of Philippine TV has arrived, and we are here to lead the way. Here to deliver unbiased news. Here to spark fearless conversations. Here to redefine intelligence. Here to spread hope. Here to get your adrenaline pumping. Here to give you an inside look. Here to pay tribute to legends. And here to let your genius shine. At the end of the day, we're not just here to inform. Not just here to entertain. We're here to uplift the Filipino spirit. The Manila Times TV. Aspirational. Inspirational. Inspirational.